Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, April 20th. I'm James Spann. Beautiful weather today and tomorrow. A soaking rain returns Sunday. That rain lingers into early next week. Let's dive in and talk about it. Big new trough in the western states. That'll be advancing this way, producing the rain Sunday into early next week. And yeah, buddy, it's cold this morning. Look at Coleman and Decatur, 34. Gadsden, 38. Haleyville, 39. Our weather observer at Black Creek near Gadsden has 31 this morning. Some of the colder pockets with frost. Birmingham at 42, but a pretty decent warm-up today. The high will be close to 70 in most spots. Around the nation, still cold up north. They're still asking where in the world is spring. Here's the watch warning map. Freeze warnings in effect for areas north of the state this morning. And out west, winter storm warnings in effect for the mountains of Colorado in advance of that new storm. Maybe some stronger storms today in parts of West Texas and East New Mexico, a marginal risk there. Tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe storms for places like Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, Lake Charles. And on day three, which is Sunday, the uh, SPC guys have put a marginal risk up for uh, far south Alabama and south Mississippi. The area is in darker green. That's uh, south of a line from near Demopolis to Greenville to Dothan. And there might be a storm with gusty winds down there, but the overall threat is fairly low. And quite frankly, for the northern half of the state, I don't think we'll hear much thunder on Sunday. Just an old-fashioned rainy day. And a lot of rain, though. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week. Heavier totals across the southeast United States and Alabama. Looks like there's a four-inch bullseye around LaGrange, Georgia, north of Columbus and Phoenix City. For much of the state, rain amounts between two and three inches. And much of that will be Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. So, model fans, let's check it out. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, 1 o'clock this afternoon. There's that big bowling ball in the southwest around the four corners. But for us, a really nice day, sunny with a high close to 70. Tomorrow, the sky will stay mostly sunny with mid-70s. Rain well to the west, and here it comes on Sunday. Rain moving in Sunday morning. Rain should be widespread by Sunday afternoon. This is the instability Sunday at midday, and there's basically nothing for most of the state. That's the reason we're not expecting much thunder. But rain, yeah, a lot of it. This is Monday. The heavier rain by then should be east of the state, but Monday will be cloudy and cool, maybe some lingering light rain at times with a high in the upper 60s in most spots. And, and even on Tuesday with this trough kind of lingering, looks like a cloudy day, maybe a few showers. But again, the most widespread rain Monday and Tuesday should be east of here. And then Wednesday, we've still got an upper trough hanging around, uh, but I think the day should be dry. Maybe some rain to the north. The high will be in the low 70s. Thursday looks dry and pleasant. Again, low 70s. And a week from today, deep trough for the eastern states and a dry air mass. The sky should be sunny with highs in the 70s. We'll go out there 10 days, Sunday the 29th, a zonal flow, and maybe a few showers creeping in here, but nothing to suggest any severe weather for the rest of April. And we'll sure take that. Here are the numbers coming off the European. Look at Sunday. It's got a high of only 62 with rain falling. It's going to be a cool rain. Highs only in the 60s, really, for much of next week. Temperature is pretty far below average. We ought to be well up in the 70s. But then we warm up a little bit toward the first part of May with highs getting back in the mid-70s by then. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.